Now to the backlash that is growing for Tom Brokaw, the NBC News veteran criticized for comments he made about Hispanics and the way he's apologizing. Lindsay Davis is here with that story for us. Good morning, Lindsay. Good morning, Robin. Criticism was harsh and swift after the former nightly news anchor implied that Latinos need to do a better job of assimilating. Critics pounced, calling his comments not only racially insensitive, but also inaccurate. Then he was taken to task for what was deemed an unapologetic apology. And a lot of this we don't want to talk about. Bro call backlash. During a panel conversation about the border wall on Meet the Press this weekend, veteran journalist Tom Brokaw offered his two cents about why conservatives are reluctant to embrace immigration. But the fact is, on the Republican side, a lot of people see the rise of an extraordinary important new constituency in American politics, Hispanics, who will come here and all be Democrats. Also, I hear when I push people a little harder, I don't know whether I want brown grandbabies. I mean, that's also a part of it. The 78-year-old former NBC News anchor then adding, I also happen to believe that the Hispanics should work harder at assimilation. That's one of the things I've been saying for a long time. You know, that they ought not to be just codified in their communities, but make sure that all of their kids are learning to speak English and that they feel comfortable in the communities. And that's going to take outreach on both sides, frankly. One panelist immediately pushed back. And the idea that we think of America can only speak English as if Spanish and other languages wasn't always part of America is some ways troubling. And online, many blasted Brokaw, calling his remarks on assimilation ignorant and xenophobic. Brokaw then responded in a string of tweets, I feel terrible. A part of my comments on Hispanics offended some members of that proud culture. And after that was met with more criticism, he went on to say, I am sorry, truly sorry, my comments were offensive to many. Later, in a flurry of bizarre tweets, he added, my tweet portal is whack. I've been trying to say I am sorry I offended and I so appreciate my colleague. The National Association of Hispanic Journalists says that it reached out to NBC with concerns about Brokaw's commentary. And Congressman Joaquin Castro, twin brother of presidential candidate Julian Castro, tweeted, unfortunate to see xenophobia pass for elevated political commentary, adding that Brokaw seems stunningly ignorant of the Hispanic community in this country. We did reach out to NBC for comment. We've not heard not anything back. You guys know I'm already hot and bothered about this mm -hmm. one. First of all, there is absolutely nothing wrong with speaking Spanish. Speaking another language, that is an asset in this country. It's an antiquated view of our country to think otherwise. He's factually wrong. 90% of young Latinos, nearly 90% born in this country, speak Spanish. Anecdotally, Gio's right here, my husband's right here. We all grew up speaking Spanish at home, but you go to school in this country and mm -hmm. you speak English, and to think otherwise is just so wrong. And I've got to say, I'm just so disappointed in that a veteran like Tom Brokaw, a respected journalist in this country, would go there on TV. And I'm really thankful that Yamish spoke up and she said did, something. Yes, yes. yes. But, but we still this, haven't gotten an official comment from. In we have not heard from NBC. From NBC. Mm -hmm. This is just wrong, and it's a really antiquated way of looking at our country. Yeah. Thank you. Thank, Thank you for letting me Thank say you. that. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.